flushing them. Yeah, <laughs> they didn't know I was coming. So. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, good evening, everyone, and thank you so much for attending tonight's City Council meeting. We certainly appreciate it. Today is Monday, December 12th, and we'll start tonight's meeting with a roll call of your City Council. Council Members Entman? Here. Erpenbach? Here. Jameson? Here. Karski? Here. Rolfing? Here. Aguilar? Here. Anderson? Here. Brown? Here. Thank you. All eight City Councilors are here. Uh, we, as with any uh, City Council meeting that we have, we always start it with an, an invocation tonight we're so pleased to have dr cliff sims of empire baptist temple here in sioux falls to lead that invocation we'd ask you to stand and then after dr sims is done we'll have our pledge of allegiance welcome dr. Sims. let's pray <clears throat> my father i thank you for uh, lord your many blessings upon the city of sioux falls lord i thank you for uh, the public servants that you've given us. I pray for the men and women here tonight on the City Council that you might, uh, Lord, bless their efforts. I pray that you might give them wisdom and uh, guidance in the decisions they make for our community. Uh, Lord, I pray especially for our mayor tonight that you might continue to uh, strengthen and direct him. Uh, Lord, we do think of uh, some concerns around the community. We think of the uh, recent uh, tragedy with the plane crash here in uh, Sioux Falls and we pray that you would uh, Lord continue to uphold the family members of those that uh, died in that crash we pray that you might uh, Lord also continue to be with our law enforcement we thank you for our police and and sheriff's departments here and uh, their many efforts to keep this a safe and uh, uh, prospering community Lord we pray that you might uh, just put a hedge around them father we pray that uh, Lord you could continue to uh, make Sioux Falls a good place for uh, for families and Lord we just thank you for uh, all that you have done for us and Lord again ask for your guidance upon this meeting that all things that uh, need to be addressed would be taken care of tonight and Lord, we ask these things in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Well, thank you very much. I will now move to tonight's uh, consent agenda. Uh, council, a motion or comments? So move, Anderson. Second, Entman. Councilor Anderson Jr. has made a motion to approve tonight's consent agenda, seconded by Councilor Entman. If there is no further discussion, on roll call, please. Council members Entman? Yes. Erpenbach? Yes. Jameson? Yes. Karski? Yes. Rolfing? Yes. Aguilar? Yes. Anderson? Yes. Brown? Yes. That is passed 8 to 0. Thank you. Moving on to tonight's regular agenda. Any changes, Council? Move approval, Erpenbach. Second, Aguilar. Councilor Box uh, made a motion to approve tonight's regular agenda, seconded by Councilor Aguilar. If there is no further discussion, a roll call vote, please. Council Members Antiman? Yes. Erpenbach? Yes. Jameson? Yes. Karski? Yes. Rolfing? Yes. Aguilar? Yes. Anderson? Yes. Brown? Yes. And that has also passed 8 to 0. Again, thanks so much for being here tonight. We certainly appreciate it. Uh, if there is anyone in the audience who wanted to speak to the council, please just come forward. Uh, we'd ask that you limit your comments to five minutes. And if, there, if you want to talk about an agenda item later on in the meeting, we'd ask you to wait in, until that uh, specific agenda item comes up. Is there anyone in the audience who wanted to speak tonight? Well, very good, very good. We'll move on to tonight's uh, agenda and with number nine. Item 9 is a second reading and ordinance of the City of Sioux Falls, South Dakota, amending the revised ordinances of the city by amending Chapter 14 elections by providing a runoff election three weeks after the annual city election.
was in conformance with the state law, which states that municipalities who choose to have a runoff would have it three weeks after the initial election. It would allow people to still register to vote uh, on the first on the day of the first election and for the rest of that week. And it would make election administration easier. Um, uh, the effect of it for 2012 would be currently your uh, initial election for what comes to seats will be on April 10th. Under the current ordinance, the runoff would be April 24th. This would move it to May 1st. And then uh, the new council members would take off on May 21st. So there would be three weeks from the first election to the second election, and then three weeks from the final election until people take office. <coughs> Very good. Is there anyone in the audience who wanted to speak to this item? Council, questions, comments? Move approval, Aguilar. Second, Karski. Council Aguilar has made a motion to approve this item, seconded by Councilor Karski. Uh, Council, any discussion? Very good. Uh, roll call vote, please. Council Members Entman? Yes. Erpenbach? Yes. Jameson? Yes. Karski? Yes. Rolfing? Yes. Aguilar? Yes. Anderson? Yes. Brown? Yes. And that is passed 8 to 0. Item 10. Item 10 is the first reading, an ordinance of the City of Sioux Falls, South Dakota, amending the revised ordinances of the city by revising the monthly vacation accrual schedule and establishing a new maximum balance for employees hired after December 31st, 2011. Good evening, Mayor, City Council, Bill O'Toole from Human Resources. This ordinance um, basically it has two things. It deals with changes in 3137, which is the eligibility and accumulation of vacation for employees not represented by a collective bargaining agreement. And it also addresses the maximum vacation uh, carryover limits in 3140. Uh, first, as it relates to section 3137, um, the reason we're proposing this change is because during collective bargaining some years ago, uh, we made some incremental adjustments um, in the accrual in years three and four uh, by increasing it um, 1.25 hours uh, in years three and four, and for years four and five, increasing it to nine uh, or 2.25 hours uh, from from the previous uh, accrual of 6.75. So it's just an incremental increase dealing with the accrual side of the equation. Uh, the change identified in 3140, uh, it looks like a complete rewrite, and to some extent it is in an attempt to provide as much clarity as possible but ultimately what we are doing uh, is during this last round of negotiations as well in each of the respective labor agreements, we reduce the amount of maximum vacation carryover annually for each of the groups by about 40 hours. Uh, this provision is doing basically the same thing for the rest of the employee groups. Uh, and just real quickly, what, what we're doing is changing it from its current um, level at 280 hours uh, to 240 hours for employees that are hired um, after December 31st, 2011. Uh, those that are remain employed to the city keep the, the current level at 280. Uh, and then the changes in subsection C uh, and D are doing the exact same thing with fire management shift personnel. Uh, it's the commensurate reduction for each of those. Um, this is a uh, first reading of the ordinance that's setting hearing date for next week, but I'd be happy to take any questions. Thanks, Bill. Council, are there any questions or motions? Move to approve, Anderson. Second, Anthony. Councilor Anderson, Jr. has made a motion to approve item number 10 by setting a hearing and second reading for Monday, December 19th at 7 p.m. And that was seconded by Councilor Antonin. Uh, is there any discussion? A roll call vote, please. Council members Antonin? Yes. Erpenbach? Yes. Jameson? Yes. Karski? Yes. Rolfing? Yes. Aguilar? Yes. Anderson? Yes. Brown? Yes. And it's passed 8 to 0. Council, any other uh, comments or discussion? If not, a motion to adjourn, please. Is this a record? This is. It is uh, <laughs> now no. eight minutes. Move to adjourn. Second it. Council Jameson has made a motion to approve the shortest meeting in my tenure, seconded by Council Antonin. Uh, if there's no further discussion, a roll call vote, please. Council members Antiman? Yes. Erpenbach? Yes. Jameson? Yes. Karski? Yes. Rolfing? Yes. Aguilar? Yes. Anderson? Yes. Brown? Yes. Very good. Thank you, City Council. Thank you, City of Sioux Falls. This City Council meeting is adjourned. Make it a great night.